Ms Parker. Thank you. I'm totally sympathetic with the themes of this report. For example, the sensitive handling of those seeking asylum who have suffered rape and sexual abuse, and that we need to ensure suitable conditions with access to facilities and care. I'm also glad the report notes that the vast majority of asylum seekers are not women and children. They are men of working age. However, thanks to the actions of those such as Germany, who said that anyone that comes will be granted asylum, the EU expanding the definition of the Geneva Convention to mean anyone fleeing from war, it has led to over one million people from Africa and the Middle East to come to Europe in 2015. This is exacerbating the humanitarian disasters in the Mediterranean and putting power into the hands of human traffickers and criminals with vulnerable people paying to be transported to Europe. When they make it, there is free movement of people within the EU. This again gives power to traffickers to move people freely around Europe. With no checks between borders, refugees can simply move to another country. This creates a security risk which we saw exploited in the Paris attacks and makes EU asylum policies completely unenforceable. And what about the treatment of our own women refugees and migrants? We see worrying cases of abuse and sexual assault, such as those in Cologne and Sweden, which is now seen as the rape capital of Europe. This is what happens when you have an open door policy and countries and cultures where women are treated as second class citizens. The EU is providing the perfect environment for cross-border criminals to traffic and exploit people. The EU has no right to dictate immigration and asylum policies. Only the elected and accountable national governments should decide in compliance with the, convention, with the Geneva Convention. Thank you. Thank you very much, Ms. Parker. And now, finally, Ms. Honeyball, you have the floor. Well, I will start by replying to the last two speakers. It's very easy and it's totally wrong to blame refugees and migrants for what is happening. These are people who are fleeing appalling conditions. I mean, you've actually, both of you, alluded to them. They're coming from countries where women are exploited, who live who are vulnerable in many cases, who live lives which are quite different and quite worse than those of their male counterparts. And men and women are fleeing those countries because of conflict. So I think it's not quite right to say that we're contravening the Geneva Convention. And I think we just should stop doing this. It is essentially racist to blame the migrants and the refugees. And that is against the values of the European Union and it's a cer a certainly against what this committee has always fought and striven for. So I would hope that the rest of you who are reasonable people on this committee would discount the remarks of those last two speakers because they are wrong and they are racist and they really shouldn't be given any credence whatsoever. <laughs>